All right, we're back with this Panasonic dot matrix printer. I went to Panasonic's website looking for drivers to make it work with Windows 7. Panasonic drivers themselves don't exist, and Panasonic isn't listed in the drop-down menu in Windows 7, but Panasonic said to install some Epson driver, which I did. Got a new parallel cable, as the first one was defective. And I got a parallel to USB, as I don't think the Windows 7 computer has a parallel port. In the worst case, I can get a parallel card to put in there. I got an XP laptop too, I can use it. So let's plug it, it's plugged in. I'm gonna put some paper in it. Plug it into the USB slot. And we'll see if it will, if the computer will recognize it. I plugged the adapter in. Saying this at the moment. All the adapter is this little thingy here. Just connects to your parallel cable and converts it to USB. Now, I don't know if it's installing the drivers for the adapter or if it's actually trying to find drivers for the printer. But I installed some Epson drivers that Panasonic said to install. So let's see what this does. Well, something was installed. What? I don't know. But let's go into the print menu. Computer, control panel, Epson LQ Series 180 is what it told me to install. So, just print options. Let me see if I can find uh, where to do a... Uh... Let's see, I'm trying to see. I'm trying to find the... Uh... Like how to do a test page. Here. Print test page, if it will even cooperate. Test page has been sent to your printer. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably won't work through USB. Yeah, the fact it hasn't done nothing yet, it's not going to work. Okay, I had to change the uh, printing port. And it's gonna bitch because it's out of paper. All right, I got to work with the drivers. Okay, here's what I had to do. You notice this thing here, USB 2.0 print. So I was installing the drivers for the adapter. Now what I had to do here, I had to click on this, or right click on it, I had to go to printer properties, ports, it was set to LPT1, you know, your standard printer port. I didn't think nothing of it. It's serial. I had to go, then I saw this one now. USB 001, virtual printer port for USB. As soon as I clicked on that and hit apply, the printer started printing. That's why all of a sudden you just saw, the, all of a sudden you just saw it printing. Because I had my arm on here, messing with this. As soon as I clicked that, I clicked apply, all of a sudden this thing sprung to life and started printing. I got ink cartridges for this. I just haven't put them in yet. But it's printing. So that's what you want. Epson LQ Series 1. Now, I'll show you how you install this. So if you have a dot matrix printer, you're going to install what drivers your dot matrix website tells you to do. Panasonic told me to install this driver here for Windows 7. For both 32 and 64-bit. This is what it told me to install. 
So what you do, you add, go to add a printer. This is in control panel, devices and printers. Add a local printer using existing port. In this case, you'd use US, well, you'd use USB if you're gonna use that. Go next, find your manufacturer. Now Panasonic isn't listed. I went to Epson, LQ series 180. And then you got graphics, which you don't really want. This is like text only here. So that's how you do that. So let's replace the ink, the uh, ribbon in here, and we'll reprint the test page properly. Well, here it is with the new ribbon. Not very good. I had to put it all the way there in order to read it. And I keep having problems with this thing like popping up like this on the side. So that could be that could be the issue. I did not want to fully latch down on this end. It could be a defective cartridge. Doesn't want to stay. So try another cartridge, I guess. Alright, so we placed the uh, ribbon again and put this all the way there. Now it's actually readable and it's steady. Is it USB 001 for port name, driver information. So we'll reload the paper on the other side and let's you now show you it printing again. This time correctly. Okay, so one more time. Get the paper reloaded. This is how it'll print on the blank side of the other side. Use both sides here. It's not the right type of paper for this, but it will work. Let's print test again. It's out of paper because it wants to see folds but there we go finally got it working right you know what do you expect for a 10 pack of ribbon for 10 for five bucks or five pack for 10 bucks whatever it was you know all from china it's going to be shit but it's best i can do those novelty purposes it's not, not like it's going to be my everyday printer anyway but you know novelty of it so there we go Successfully installed on Windows 7 using a parallel to USB adapter. Just had to set the port to USB and now it's running.